afternoon, good evening, those of you on TikTok and YouTube platforms. We thank the Most High for you, you, and you. Let us pray, O Most Holy Sin, in name Eve, in the spirit that moved upon the water according to Genesis 1 and 1. We thank you for all that you've done. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your favor. We thank you for everything that you do. We ask you to be with us as we go about this day, as we go about the hour or the minute that we're in, whether it be night, day, or morning, whatever time it is, we ask you to be with us that our minds might be tuned in unto you, that our hearts may be even more sensitive to the things that you have instructed us to do. Even so, you said circumcise our hearts and just not our bodies. Oh, we thank you. We praise you for all the things that you have done. Yes, we ask you to make us an industrious people. Oh, yes, an entrepreneurial people, a people that will do what they have to do to even increase. Yes, we ask you to give us an increase, give us the knowledge and know-how, strengthen our minds, our hearts, and everything that we need to do, and most of all, to please you, to obey your commandments, statutes, and judgments, even your law. And we thank you for these things. Yes, in your name. Yes, 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 yes. Come on in. We, we in Exodus chapter 19. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Those of you on YouTube, TikTok, videos, wherever you may be viewing this video. And it reads, in the third month, when the children of Israel or Kobe were gone forth out of the land of Egypt, the same day they came, they came they into the wilderness of Sinai. Okay, we're going to put it that way. And they were departed from Rephidim, and there were come to the desert of Sinai, and had pitched in the wilderness, and there Israel or even a Kobe camped before the mount. And Moses went up to God, even the I am, and that God called unto him out of the mountain, saying, Thus shalt thou say unto the house of Akobi, and tell the children of Akobi. See, see, you got Jacob, and then you got that 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 sort of gets me a little bit. Ye have seen what I did to the unto the Egyptians, and how I bear you on eagles' wings and brought you unto myself. In other words, uh, according to Genesis chapter 18 and back God took Israel he took the children of Kobe and he protected them from the rear in the fire by night and the smoke by day yes 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 even from their enemies in other words eagles wings means you can't be you are so high you can't get touched the same thing they were God protected them so much that they could not the Egyptians could not touch them according to this word in this narrative now now, you have seen what I did to the Egyptians, he said. Now, therefore, if you will obey, key words, key words, key sentence. If you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, keep my agreement, keep what I set forth before you. We're getting ready to get into a thing. We're getting there and getting into the covenant. This is not the old covenant. This is the covenant. Okay? Then ye shall be a particular treasure. You have to realize the New Testament is a testament, not a covenant. A testament, not an agreement. A testament. Let's get this right. What is the difference between a testament and a covenant? Okay. All right. Now, when you shall be, and he said, if you keep my covenant, which what this wish is about to go for, if you shall keep my covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure, a special treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. In other words, above everything. If you keep my covenant. You're going to be special. But God don't handle you like you want him to handle you. God handles you the way God wants to handle you. <laughs> yes. <coughs> and he said, you shall be a kingdom of unto me, a priest. You read that in the New Testament. That's where you get this from. A holy nation, a royal priesthood. You, you remember that. He said, a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Akobi. And Moses came and called for the elders of the people and laid before their faces all these words which the Most High can In other words, the elders related to the, the old tens of, of, hundreds, of thousands and then hundreds and then tens. And all the people heard it because it was relayed to them through the, through the hierarchy, through the chain of command. Now, and all the people answered together and said, All that the Lord has spoken, we will do. And Moses returned the words of the people unto the Most High. Not that he didn't understand it, but Moses returned it to him through, what, the chain of command. 
Now, and the I am said unto Moses, Lo, I come to thee in the thick cloud that the people may hear when I speak with thee and believe thee forever. And Moses told the words of the people unto the I am. And the I am said unto Moses, Go unto the people and sanctify them. In other words, set them apart. Today and tomorrow. And let them wash their clothes. In other words, you, you're going to get clean. You're going to be, you, there's no dirt. You, you're going to be set apart clean and unclean. Day and night, light and day. Whatever it takes, you're going to be holy this day. Clean. And it will be ready against the third day. And the third day, the I am, will come down in the sight of the people in the Mount Sinai. Now, and thou shalt set bounds for the people. And you had to realize, he said, don't come, don't come unto your wives. In other words, that's a whole other story by, right by itself. Now thou shalt set bounds unto the people round about, saying, Take heed to yourselves, that ye go not up to the mount, or touch the border of it. Whosoever touches the mount shall be surely put to death. Quote, unquote. Now, he said, now I'm giving you authority to do this. Now, you're going to delete anybody that comes to the mount. You're going to delete them. See, there's, there's AIs listening and, and things happen. So you're going to delete anybody that comes to the mount. You're going to surely delete them. Because that's the commandment. In other words, I am holy. This is what the I am is saying. I am holy. And there shall not come and hand touch it. But he shall surely be stoned or shot through. This is quote unquote. It says now, whether it be beast or man, it shall not live when... The trumpet soundeth long, they shall come up to the mount. And Moses went down from the mount of the people and sanctified the people, and they washed their clothes. And he said unto the people, Be ready against the third day and come not at your wives. In other words, don't come at your wives. Don't don't know your wives in this day. Because you know the fluids and all that other stuff is is it's just unclean. Period. And it came to pass on the third day in the morning that there were thunders and lightnings and thick clouds upon the mountain and the voice and trumpets exceeding loud so that all the people that was in the camp trembled. I mean, this was a terrible day. This was a day of fear and moaning. But this is only to the ears and the eyes. And Moses brought forth the people out of the camp to meet with the I Am. And they stood in, in the nether part of the mountain. In other words, a far part or a part, you know, away from the mountain. And, and Mount Sinai was altogether on smoke, and because of the I am descended upon it in fire, and the smoke therefore ascended as smoke of a furnace, and the whole mount quaked greatly. Then the voice of the trumpet sound long and waxed louder and louder, and Moses spake, and God answered him by voice. And the I am came down upon Mount Sinai on the top of the mount, and the I am called Moses up to the top of the mount, and Moses went up. Moses went up, and the I am said unto Moses, Go down, charge the people, lest they break through unto the I am and graze, and many of them perish. And let the priests also which come near to the I am sanctify themselves, lest the I am break forth upon them. And Moses said unto the I am, The people cannot come up to the Mount Sinai, for thou chargest us, saying, Set bounds about the Mount, and sanctify it. Now, he said, you got to make sure of this because he knows the people's hearts. God sees everything. And the I am said unto him, away, get you down, and thou shalt come up. And Moses and Aaron with thee, but let not the priests and the people break through to come unto the I am, lest he break forth upon them. So Moses went down unto the people and spake unto them. Yes. And this here is the preamble. This is the preamble to receive in the covenant. First, he got the agreement. The agreement came. He said, all that the, all the I am said, that we will do. That they, they agreed to whatever you say, we're going to do. Okay? Then it came to the point where he comes down and he says, oh, you stay away from me right now. I know about you. I know who you are. I know what you've been doing. Do not touch this mountain because I am in this. This mountain is like the holies of holies. It is holy. Do not touch it. Not even an animal. And if they do touch it, I'm going to thrust you through, or they're going to thrust you through. And now we get into some meat. And with that, we're going to say, peace.